can see here. Ipurash in that T54 lightweight, moving up here already. Trying to spot Ragegrid, who is mostly moving towards that one cap as well. And fairly heavy commitment from Legends towards that southern side with Zed in the batch. And most of their forces positioning around that two cap. This could be bad if Ragegrid just, just decides to drive into the number one cap. I really don't understand what's the actual use of Legend for that T54 light. Everyone uses mainly Rue, if you want. Look, he just took 400 for nothing. And 1 on 3 is really aggressively entering the cap. That's kind of expected from this lineup. And E3 is left behind in a cooldown. But 5,000 will be caught completely alone in the back. A pure skill there in that 5,100 is going to be in a lot of trouble as now Zed pushing into him as well. You can see Yugi Homer here trying to do some damage on the cross. Honor already taking some. Ali taking some as well. That 5,100 going down for free pretty much. Zed taking two shells in return. But keep an eye on that capture circle. Down to 17 seconds already. And Legend for now in no position yet to reset that base. That E3 now going forward, shielding the cap. Honor in that E5 taking a massive amount of damage. Now down low. Cap down to seven seconds though. Iparash needs to get in here. Five seconds left on that capture circle. And it look, it could there look like no Ragequid could just capture this base already. One second left. Again. And the base will be captured by Ragequid. Picking up the first round in less than a minute and 30 seconds. As we were pointing out, a very heavy commitment from Legend on that southern side we of the map. this kind of game from uh, yesterday. Oops, lost. Pretty similar like this, but Legend leaving T50 for light, expecting him to reset. Like, what, what, what was that? The guy cannot even approach the cap without getting killed. And there was literally no one two squares away from on a map that can do anything. So Rage Quit definitely takes the round easy way. And now they're in defense. Again, that... We've seen so many Ghost Towns now being lost, not only in this format, previous formats as well. Teams put three guys on the capture circle, and there's too many tanks in the southern, southern side of the map, trying to defend that base number two, and they leave not enough tanks in the north, and they just get capped. And yeah, again, and time and time and again. So how many tanks is down, they send suicidal everyone who is not in a cap to just stop them from reaching them, and it was the right call, definitely right call. Because there was no way those guys can do anything about the reset. Rich Grid, that was a quick victory. <laughs> Quite a quick one. <laughs> it, doesn't, it doesn't look well for Legend <laughs> at the moment. Again, Legend, we have to criticize them on maybe their positioning there. Pretty, pretty awful. Not in position to reset. I'm not sure what their plan was. Ipurash in the T54 Lightweight doesn't even have, in, the H3 is not even enough to reset on that 113. And frankly, no, if he, he, went to reset, he barely has any pen and his gold is APCR. How, how will you pen the 113s? Look at the stats here or the lack of stats better as the only one doing real damage is Cactus in that E3. 2.2k damage. 3 out of 3. Very nice. 3 out of 3 here in less than a minute and 30 seconds. So pretty Zed good was there. trying to do some reset. I saw him run in the back of the red line, but that's kind of panic run and there was no way he he, will, he would hit anyone. He was still, when the cap ended, he was like two squares away from the position to, most to of even his, fire a Most shot. of his damage also came from taking down that 5100 yes. SDR8 tank, so very neglectable. There's only one disappointing fact here, Mojo. Pure skill was on my fantasy team and he's playing the 5100. Maybe he fired one shot. <laughs> Maybe even two if you're like. Oh, uh, two shells though, so not Everything all is counts. lost. Everything counts. Not all is lost here, but we can see number one skills, Grem and Seba. Zero damage, but capturing the base is all they had to do, really. Definitely. Oh, easy game. Like, really easy game. Given. It didn't seem like Legend was quite ready for what Rage Kid brought, even though it's a fairly common tactic by now. Nothing unusual we saw here except the pick of E3, definitely. Uh, but the play of Legend just handing the map over. Legend handing over that attacking win towards Rage Kid. Not the best of starts as now Rage Queen moving on to the defensive side. If they make it 2 0, it's already a very hard position for Legend to come back. Uh, if they keep playing like this, they're going to get zeroed. Like, this is not the way to play this game, especially not in a Gold League. I'm sorry to say. I mean, they have really talented players, but Gold League is one thing, and playing Clan Wars randoms is another. Is that saying how Silver League might have been harder, but yet so, so far, not having seen some progress made from Legend from that last match against Kazna. Playing with maybe some outdated strats there, and again today, that yeah. <sighs> I'm really at the moment wondering who are their training partners because it doesn't seem like they are up to the date. Maybe they're practicing with a lot of Silver League teams that also cannot really follow up the current meta. This is a hard playground now. Well, no matter what they think, even ESL Major was just a mixture of some Gold League teams and Silver League teams. So this is the real deal. Let's see what Legend has to bring here. Moving into our second round. 
Bringing again a lot of FE215Bs. 150B, 113. Fairly standard lineups here. Rage Grid bringing that IS4 on Ghost Town. Mm, not the greatest fan of the IS4. I guess they will use. just put him down and try to keep him uh, for the rested uh, angling. The, I, it doesn't look like they will give the cap away, especially since they have the Rue. Let's see if Legend can come back here as these two teams are ready now. Let's move into our second round on Ghost Town and see if Legend can shake off that quick first defeat here. You can see again Rage Quit biasing themselves a lot more towards that one cap. Only sending Yugi Hombre in that RU251 towards the southern side. And here Ipu Rush already moving a little aggressive to see what he can see. And the rest of Legend's team moving towards that southern side. Definitely really qu quick spot by Yeporash. We saw that happen several times, and Zed is also pushing the left flank. I hope Yeporash will not be caught. No, no, no. He will run away clean. Yugi is trying to climb up, and I think he already succeeded. So he will be a kind of arrested guy. But Honor already triggered the middle cap, actually. Yeah, Honor in that capture circle. So Yugi Hombre at A2 position where he is now. Probably drove up there, but Zed already very aggressive down that one line there. We can see that Batshot. Pushing up even more, and he might actually catch Yugi Omri off guard here as Zed still didn't get spotted. Knows that that RU251 is here, so first first pickup could be for Legend actually in this round. As now Yugi Omri, not much he can do here, but it doesn't look like Zed's going to commit. Still, Rage Grid has to deal with that capture circle. Ipurash is in the zero line. What is their final move? Uh, it would be a real problem actually for Zed to go there because they could send people to take him out and just rest at the cap. Then they will have a tank less. So he's there just to do a flank shot if someone is pushing. It does and seem uh, like he is going for it now though. So Zed probably going to take out that RU251 of Yugi Hombre there, but still. HP in favor of Rage Grid here as Cactus lands another nice shot onto kill steal. Zed does pick up Yugi Hombre, but only that the raid tank for now. And D-Mine at 50B waiting to pounce on that corner as well. Has to be careful there. And Rage Grid, even though the base is still being captured, doing some really well damage now. Ipurash going down in return. Both the raids down. and. Cap down to 43 seconds to reach quit. Gonna have to make their move in a second. Uh, cap is not an issue yet. We know by the plays, every better team knows uh, until the cap goes to 10, 20 seconds, it's all okay. So they're focusing on damage and do it, doing it decently. Uh, but they started to lose massive amounts of HP now. Rage quit slowly but surely losing some HP here, but still 3k ahead of Legend at this point. Uh, 2k, sorry. So you can see now Cactus taking more damage as well. and. The base does get reset, so Legend now with the advantage. Cap started again, but there's still a lot of time here for Rage Grid to work around. And it doesn't look like Legend. This can't be their final plan, because resetting Honor, you can see that the HP here is still very even. And if they reset him every 60 seconds, time slowly will run out. You can see here Seba has a kind of small angle to Honor. At the moment, this is a slow game. Uh, Rage Grid actually has the uh, advantage of 1k HP. But uh, tactically, I would even say Rage Quit is better here. The only problem can be is that who is coming from their back, but he is spotted and they should know it. Uh, I don't think they even need to send off many guys to deal with him because he's on only 800 HP. That excursion on Rue actually costed him quite, quite a lot of HP. It was a necessary move, but in the same moment, uh, Rage Quit also took out Yepurash. So both lights are dead. Only rotation guy capable is Zed is there but he's on more than less than on a half hp capture now down to 53 seconds left on that and we can see here slowly seba and pure skill starting to move there but have to be careful as kill steel and dima are waiting there and pure skill seems to be taking some damage here not that much yet as he decides to back off hps now a little bit in favor of legend but legend in a good position to hold off this base capture Dima taking some damage here as well. Has to be careful to trade in at 50 b Loses his Amorak and Zed coming very aggressively from behind. Number one skills hunting for him. Zed could be going down here any second as he takes another shell. So not the greatest positioning from him. Yeah, but uh, the HP is still really close to each other and the cap is going on. Now it's a moment where Rage Kid actually has to commit. But there is re another reset by Seppa. Yeah, Seppa in that 50B, another rise. Nice reset coming out from him. So Legend, nice shot from Honor there onto Seppa. Drops him a little bit lower, but still 5 minutes, 50 seconds left. And Zed actually managed to get out of there. As I say that though, number one skills in the 50B picks up Zed. So no more rotations possible for Legend as they're getting slowly but surely whittled down by Rage Quit. 
who they should realize by now that the cap is not an option anymore and you have only one guy in FV Heavy. So only one guy in FV Heavy, Antic, has the HP, so any possibility that he can push goes around him. So as you can see here, Rage Quit in the advantage with the HP. Don't pay attention to the top bar, there seems to be a small bug there, so Rage Quit now has the advantage in HP. Still, Cactus here, trading for now. Ooh, Antic though, taking a lot of damage in that fe 25 b and kill still now as well. Honor does come around, gets striked here, takes two shells, gets put on fire without a fire extinguisher, and number one skills picks him up as Antic drops low as well. Never a good choice to go with 113 around the corner on FE Heavy, and he's like proving it, but he has no any no choice anymore because they have to push, they've been rested in countless times, and Rage Quit actually playing pretty solid. Rage Quit playing pretty solid here as it's just Dima and kill still left. Pure skill missing the shell there, but Dima down to a one shot in that 50B, doesn't have an ammo rack, and it looks like Seba's coming in for the kill here as they ram each other to death. Kill still picks up pure skill, but there's not much you can do in this one. 55 HP, damage ammo rack, and Halu comes around the corner and picks it up, bringing the score now 2 to 0 in favor of Rage Quit. Definitely. Uh, we thought we would have a big duel here, but it seems Rage Quit is definitely a dominant force. Zet and Abacha can't agree with his positioning. His, he, his threat of flanking is more important than the flank itself. Ragequit uh, was a team that was actually fourth in silver and Legend was first. So that's uh, how Legend qualified. But look how the tide is changed. I guess the guys were practicing hardcore. They and were the keeping up with the meta. Legend. Yes, and uh, also Ragequit was uh, keeping up to the meta and Legend is not. So these guys are planning much better in a headline. Next maps uh, will not bring any relief, I would say, because Himmel, which is next map, they is quite Rich could quite actually tactical. play pretty well on Himmel, sir, if yes. you remember. Yes. There was that very aggressive push through the AB line, totally catching the Wild Bunch. Yes, and they played uh, with new tanks, uh, something that we were thinking, what are they even trying here? But it actually worked. For now, though, Legends, Strats seem very... Not trying to surprise Rich quit at all, trying to just outplay them tactically and not working out so far. As Rage quit, Seba in that 50B had resets all day, drove up, reset at Honor two they, or three they, times. They saw from the start that they have no reason to do any major push because always one guy kept the, the cap in a, in a check. So he would just say, okay, it's like 30 to 40 seconds, I'm going to do the reset, okay, you are the next one. So they would pay maybe with one or two shots of damage, but in the meantime, they were shooting the guys that were trying to protect Honor. So they were keeping it up. Honor in that capture circle, not really working out. Later on, pushing out, getting set on fire in that 113. And you can see here Cactus in that FE215B and those 250Bs from Rage Quit putting out a decent amount of damage. We might remember, and there you go, finally, Skills is doing something. Oh no, Pure Skill is your fantasy. Pure Skill guy. is my fancy pick. Sorry, wait. My boy. But uh, we remember Cactus from the last match. He is a mountaineer guy and he was driving Pachat really magnificently. And we can see now that he can actually play heavy. So, pretty all around player. Maybe Cactus is going to be have to be our player to watch here for Rage Quit when we Definitely. move deeper into the season. Could point Maybe out. even a good pickup for a fantasy team. <laughs> Maybe I'll have to face underestimate well, we'll, we'll, one. Mojo, we'll see after Monday who has the best fantasy team, you or me, and then I'll ask you for advice or you can ask me for advice. Damn. <laughs> Pretty sure I'm still going to win, but here, Antique. 772, only two shells in LFE 215B. Uh, Antic not performing really well. Uh, if you remember on Prokhorovka last match, he actually costed his team a uh, match. Oh, he was speaking with STB. If, if you're wondering what Mojo was talking about, they were playing Prokhorovka and Antic in that STB. Kind of lost 90% uh, <laughs> shot in first peak, and then he came back like 15 seconds later just to get shot for four more. What he has. Now, moving into Himmelsdorf, though, and it seems like Rage Quit has to be on the attacking side, but we've, <laughs> we've seen for them before, it doesn't really matter what side they are on for aggression. Even this could help them, you know, they don't have to protect the base. Well, Himmelsdorf is actually a map that, uh, let's say, uh, both play decent. Uh, Rage Quit took both games in their match, but it was TW gaming, but uh, Legend actually took that only round on Himmelsdorf from Kazna. Yeah, Legend taking so one round there, but that was here. pure surprise, but let's see what we got here. Seems like Legend's picking the same lineup from back then, if you remember that IS-3, weren't a great fan of it. Uh, double bad shot, did work out for them once, but same lineup from Rage Quit from against well Bunch, if you remember, those 2 to 9 bad shots. Yeah, this is identical BS. lineup they had. Uh, mm -hmm. The only thing is, uh, if I remember correct, Legend was actually pushing on Kazna in that first game. 
and they... Yeah. It was a lucky break, though, because those two Euro fish and Stefan no. managing to catch those no, two no, bad no. shots. No, 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 they were pushing on them, but uh, in that game they lost, actually. It was the next game when they uh, won. <laughs> when Kazda pushed. <laughs> yes, defensive. Both defensive teams lost then. But never mind that. Uh, the lineups are identical, so there is a lot of mind play in game here. A lot of mind play in in place here. Let's see how it turns out. Can Rage Quit extend the leaders? Regen, Legend going to mount to come back. Let's see. Let's find out as we move into Himmelsdorf. Himmelsdorf, a small city map. The teams start the battle in opposite corners. Both bases are located close to each other, but in a way that you can't stay on the defensive all the time. The main attack routes pass through the hill, the alley and the railroad. But in general, the attack can be successfully executed through any part of the map. Heavy tanks and tank destroyers with powerful guns run the show here. However, a lot depends on the mobile light tanks. See here, legend on the defensive side, that IS-3 Ipurash. Actually, fairly uncommon start coming out here from legend, sending Honor and Zed already towards that zero line, it seems. And only one guy there for Rage Quit. So if those two bad shots decide to push straight up the hill, could catch Rage Quit by surprise here. Oh, uh, they might actually, but number one skills is already spotting that and he will see them coming up. The question is only, is he able to run away on time? Number one skills here picking over. Oh, and sees those bad shots. And I do think they will be able to catch him as he's now trying to back off. Going to try and land as many shells as he can as Zet and Honor Reader. And those bad shots now pushing up. Zet lands the first. Honor is going to land the second. And it's all but over for number one skills. It's going to be the first one down here. A surprising push coming out from Legend and actually working out. Both bad shots taking 600 HP of damage. But trading already one of those nine bad shots in return. Rage Gate is in. Uh countering with pushing on one cap. And we see Yupurash is actually doing a light tank uh, spotting. He is in the center of the field trying to proxy any kind of movements. And uh, he's actually doing it successful, but only guy spotted is actually I himself. like this. I like this push from Ragequid coming out. They're going to go take control over that rail side, which gives them a lot of control over that entire one two line side. If nobody from Legend manages to get to that rail, Provides them with a lot of options here. Ipurash and the IS-3 might be pretty annoying. This is actually really interesting because uh, Legend is actually not aware they're already there. I think Honor might get caught between between two of them. Honor backing off now. Takes one shot in return, so lucky to get out of there. And now most of the Legend team in that core chart and pure skill going to go control the south. Zed is coming from there, but that tier 9 bad shot, Zed a little bit lower, should be able to win that engagement. And now the question is, what does Rich could do to get out of this situation? Because they can't really start the cap. Well, Gremek and Cactus are there. I don't know why are they hesitating now, because I think they should ki kind of press on that uh, D-line and A-line and uh, do some kind of damage to those guys to chase them away before the main force of Legend actually comes there. But now it will be a kind of a problem. And uh, pure skill cannot really just play one-on-one -on -one against tier 10 budget. Cactus should have taken that C3 position probably at the window when Grem covers him, but... Rich quit now. If we, we don't see this a lot where the offensive side controls the entire one two line and the defensive side controls the entire courtyard. Well, entire game is going now to choice. Will Cactus and Gremek push the north side or will Micmac and Pure Skill do something from the lower part? I would say the better opening from them is for them is from the north, but eventually it will be for the their shot caller. Gonna have to see what the final move here is from Rich Quid as Pure Skill and Mikma can't really cross that gap. Taking some shells here under the rails from Dima. Nice shooting in that 1-1-3. One, one, yeah, definitely nice shot because uh, with that gun, shooting below the rail is not really a cute thing to do. But finally, Pure Skill is doing some kind of rotation down. Uh, his only chance would be actually to catch off Zed alone because Zed Should is not a full HP. be able to HP. kill him though, one on one? Definitely with the lower HP of Zed. Yeah, because Zed is going to need at least four shells with decent rolls, at least well, four pure shells. Pure skill needs four shells for him, Zed he needs four shells It depends for him. on who gets the first but shot pretty much. Pure skill gets him 100% with four shells and Zed needs all yeah. normal rolls. Oh, actually more than normal rolls, 390 alpha, yeah. so needs a little bit more. So pure skill now starting to hunt, but Ali is also there. If he manages to land the shell onto pure skill, which it doesn't seem he's able to, pure skill taking the first shell from Zed, so now that tier 10 batch have an advantage, but this gives them a little bit of control here. As if pure skill could take the hill, for example, but then there's still honor to deal with Antic as well. Antic is again impatient, like he proven us from Prokhorovka that he likes to peek over and uh, here we go again. 
475 for what? For info, the enemy is there, like he's been there, and he knew he's there. Honestly, the push that I see that should come out from Rage Quit is Gremek and Cactus push through that three line oh, onto Antic. This is really pure skill. If he gets behind them on a hill, he will yeah, be a Honor, pain. Honor could drive up the hill from the other side as well and catch them between both him and But Zed. do they know is he going there? He was spotted in the K line, so if Zed realizes this, should be able to pick him up. But I feel like Grem and Cactus need to push into that three line towards that C3 position. Fight Antic, or at least take control of that window, slowly work towards that A4 position, and then Halo and Seba could actually make a move through there as well. Antic again, peeking out, taking another shell here, and I feel like Halo, Seba, Cactus, and Grem should move through that DC line towards should the 3 definitely line. definitely press over Antic, because he's now a weak link in this team, and Pure Skill already occupied their attention. Honor and Zed are chasing him, and I think they should use this. When they realize that Honor and Zed are on the hill, their push should come out. Zed here with four shells, moving on to Pure Skill, who should be going down here. Zed lands the first. Pure Skill not doing any damage in return yet. Bounces a shell as well. So we'll only be able to do one shell of damage towards Zed. Didn't spot Honor, but Rage Quit now on the capture circle, realizing that Zed isn't there. Micmac still control of the start. This is not the worst of IDs from Rage Quit. This is not the worst, but it's a really bad play. Honestly, I didn't like how skills and Pure Skill acted on this one. They sold those two tier 9 batches that are the main mobile force for practically really low return. Uh, now we have only five heavies that are all spotted and stuck in one corner and uh, Legend with seven players can actually choose what they, was, what they want to do and how they want to deal Still with it. So if Micmac is able to control Zed in that certain side, there is a chance here because Halu has a pretty strong position on that cap. You see Antic already is pretty low and Honor can't really go over there as well as Grem is still controlling that. It's all going to depend really on Micmac what he can do against Zed. He needs to control Zed and make sure Zed is not able to get but that. How reset. will they control the main push from uh, Legend that is coming now? There is a lot of tanks here. The main push from Legend coming out here. Hippurash and Ali pushing across here. Halo takes the first now, backs off, off the cap, bounces the second. So a little bit of damage return here. Antic even taking even more damage though. Grem trying to move in that rail. Micmac now pushing across and Zed could be able to catch him off guard here if. Looks like Zed is playing it well. Micmac in that 50B. Taking one shot here from Zed and Zed with a crucial play so far in this round. Yeah, Zed is playing really careful and he's been a key player for them so far because all the movements uh, both for Legend are straight from him. Yeah, but it does seem like Micmac might be able to pick up Zed here as he misses the shell. Should we know? Zed picks up Micmac. So and another great play from Zed here, picking up his third kill in the round, I think, so far already. And doesn't seem like Rage Quit is going to be able to do much in this round. Yes, they have four guys alive, but the gun in the game, seven guys from Legends still able to shoot. Ipurash in the die is three. Honor now probably going to fly Gram as well, so... I really don't see a victory here as an option to Rage Quit, and Zed played really perfectly because, honestly, now he was totally outgunned by that 50p. We had three shells, more than enough to kill him, more than enough Alpha, and he managed to win in one-on-one. -on -one. That, that's quite brilliant. Just look at the HP on the guys of Legend. Ali one shot, Antic one shot, Zed one shot, Honor one shot. Zed does go down here, but he did far more than he was expected during this round, and it's all on Seba. Full HP, but six guys from Legend, not much to be done in here. Even if he kills four of them, he cannot still win the round. So this is pretty much GG for them, and we will go on another. Legend picking up their first round here, bringing the score to 2-2-1. Two, two, still in favor of Rich Quit, but selling out those tier 9 bad shots, not the greatest decisions. Honestly, they have the play in the game, but I don't like how they play them out. They got caught so easily, they didn't spot anything on the other side, and uh, then sending another budget up there also, good decision. But uh, why didn't he risk and go for Honor instead of just sitting there on a hill? He should have played one-on-one. -on -one. Could and have if, flanked all the way through the zero line. Honor and ran away, that would be a nightmare for them. That would be a nightmare for Legend, and I don't see how they even get out of that one. But Even if like this, he allowed himself to Zed just catch him and kill him for one shot in return. I still feel like those 3-1-1-3s could have very easily taken control over C3. The new only Honor really was there, taking control over that window, they should locked down easily, that line. Easily, easily chased him away and pushed Antic, who was really weak, weak link because he took several shots for no they need. There would be no one able to help him. They could have taken very easily control over zero line with Pure and at the same time taken control over three line, locking down that entire street and Legend not sure what they would be able to do as we yeah, There was a lot of solo here. play, but not, not, not much coordination. Number one skills here. Not much to be done. Pure skill also. Not the greatest decisions. 
And it looked like Legend was in a pretty bad situation in the beginning, but still. Managing to come back, so 2-2-1 two, two, now. Rich could now on the defensive side, though. It's all good now. I mean, Legend actually is back in a game. They have a possibility to even equal. So they are not some, with some uh, horrible result out. Like 3-0 would al already be practically a goner for them. But it's Himmelsdorf. They still have to win the attack. Uh, we've seen them actually take it from Kazna. Kazna was this defending and with some kind of really brave player by Zet and Honor actually in those well, uh, budget they won. I remember that one being a little bit lucky as well because Fishy and Stefan... Uh, they caught Kazna on really bad rotation. He was playing too offensive, but they still did it. Look at the stats here from that last round and we can see Zet. We said it. Everything he did in that round was super crucial. His plays were correct. His, his shells were correct. Taking up three kills. 4k damage in for him in that batch. Out. Great play. Really good play, I would say. Like It's uh, theoretically two clips that he did here because he played a tier... He played tier 10? He did play tier 10. Oh, never mind. And then he played the three clips. But uh, Halu also, <laughs> from sniping position, 1 of 3, 3k damage. Ipurash in the IS-3, not really working out. Pure skill, we saw the tier 9 batch at. Micmac losing the 1v1 against Zet as well. Mm. Pure skill getting caught, firing only one shot. Number one skills fired a bit more while they were chasing him, but that's far, far from enough. Felt like Rage Quit should have been able to take out this round, but great plays from Zet proved otherwise. The Zet, if they, I feel if Legend wants to do well, Zet is going to have to be the player to carry them carry in a lot hard. of these rounds. Carry hard. Carry hard. Uh, I think the only problem with the Rage Quit here is they were trying too much solo. They were not really playing together. They were playing like heavies are one team and mediums are another team. And you cannot have that. Like when you have movements, you need to do them in the same time. Coordinate it to make pressure so the team cannot really deal with one side easily. Let's take a look at what we have for our lineups moving into our fourth round here already. Very quick matches and Rage Quit again. Triple, actually, never mind that. Double 1-1-3 one, on one, the T10. Yeah, they want to play T10 and Tier 9 budget and Tier 10 budget, so they can really offensively take over, over the rail. But I'm wondering how will they actually protect the North Cap with that? Again, Legend with that highest three. Um, I haven't um, seen it work yeah. so far. Uh, it's really weird, but they actually played with it in attack against Kazma also. Well, it worked uh, out uh, there, um, but... I really have no clue why. That highest three... Not the greatest of fans on the offensive side. Much prefer a tier 8 light or a tier 9 batch. Maybe a Purash is a great fan and Ice 3 is a god. Let's see <laughs> if Legend is able to equalize it or Rage Quit can extend their lead. Moving into our fourth round here, you can already see Rage Quit here with a fairly standard start. Very dedicated 1 2 line defense. And for Legend, though, they're sending the solo Ice 3 towards the 8th line and everybody else over the hill. He's definitely a dedicated scout in their lineup. Maybe his account is locked only for IS-3. <laughs> he put a rush in at IS-3. Oh, he could be in a lot of trouble I can't here. do this, guys. I got this, bro. That there is a hard push three. coming from Rage Kid here. They're going straight in the middle, really aggressive. And the lack of info will tell them exactly where Legend is. You can see here Honor already landing a few shells from that top part. Hollow taking some, Stamma taking some as well. And yeah, there's plenty of info flying from that hill down. <laughs> 50 Bs though, Micmac not in the greatest position. There are a few holes in that windows where you can shoot through. And now Ipurash getting out of there in that IS3 slowly but surely. You can see here where Saba is. There's a few holes in the buildings where you can shoot between. So that 50 B positioning, not the best. But also someone actually has to spot them so you can shoot them because on their own they will not see them until they fire. So they are rather safe there. But this is the main problem now because they are not protecting the two cap at all. I have Graham spotting there, but Legend could take a lot of control over that. 39 batch I will see everybody spots Honor, doesn't land the shell. Just be careful now, those FE215Bs needs to get out of there. Let's not forget that uh, Legend now has an option to make a huge pressure from the upper side of A-line 2-cap. You see guys that coordinates on A6, A7, they can just put tanks there and make a barricade around them because Rage Quit effectively gave them entire map control. You can already see Honor and Zed in those batches going to try and take the A4 position, making sure that nobody from Rage Quit is able to come through that B line and reset. And But it doesn't look like most of the forces from Rage Quit are actually coming through the 8 line instead. And Graham has to be careful here. Didn't expect those two batches. Backs off now. 
Honoran's dead, need to be careful. Mikmax in the back. Iporash now in the Lies 3. He's in a world of hurt here. Getting picked up by Seba in that 50v. But we have several guys from Rage Quit that are completely out of the fight. And Legend actually only needs to do push around the corner. Legend going for the push around the corner here. Mikmax repositioning. Realizes this is coming, but Grem. He should fall here as he's getting chased down by Zed. Zed not able to land the shell so far. And Mikmak running. And if he can make it all the way to F2, he could use the buildings to cover him now. The 50B also coming. Oh, gets struck here. Does have his repair kit ready. And it's pretty safe for now. So maybe managing to do one or two more shells here. But the rest of Rage could very slow rotations. Most of, the, most of them still in the 8 line. I think they're completely caught off. Uh, I, I, I bet they're used to run around the map like this on their own without getting chased like this. So this is pretty <laughs> funny moment because uh, there is no tactics here, guys. This is just a little... Oh, they're not here. Let's chase these guys. They're alone. Now Legend has full <laughs> control over the 1-2 line coming off that hill. Well, I'm going to be interested to see well, how Rage could respond to this as Legend effectively pushing all the way through that AB line, catching Grem and catching Mi'kmaq as well. And HP, a little bit in favor here for Legend, but I have to see. Oh, Dima here getting caught out pretty hard by Halo and Cactus, only managing to land one shot in return. Grem does go down towards that, though. I think I've seen everything when I was watching Rage Quit and DW Gaming, but I'm corrected here. Definitely, this game goes up and down all the time, but I would say Legend has a decisive advantage. Antic taking some more damage here as well. Zed is waiting in that bad shot. Doesn't land the first shot onto Cactus. Has. Four left, oh, pure skill now taking a lot of damage here as well. Cactus getting pounded by that bad shot from Zed, who has only one left in the chamber, only managing to penetrate two shells here, so... Okay trade for Rage, but HP is still very even at this point. Could go anybody's side as Honor now taking a lot of damage as well from number one skills in the back here. And Antic here, not connecting the shell onto pure skills, so... Not the greatest of performances from Antic so far. Yeah, these are really crucial hits and that tank is made to annihilate tanks that are coming around the corner. Like F3 is really so far superior and he didn't pen again and he got, got pen and again. And he blocked like, Honor as well. He blocked Honor as well so Honor couldn't go for the kill. Now Pure Skill should be able to take down both of them really looking at it. Ali is pushing towards Cactus, should be able to pick that up. Can Pure Skill, it does pick up Antic so massive misplays from Antic. Now Honor trying to make up for the mistakes. Can he pick up Pure Skill as he does and it's only number one skills left in that bad shot. A full HP but it seems like Legend is going to pick up their second round. I really don't know what kind of game Antic is playing but constantly as we see him he's misplaying. Maybe he's too under too much pressure for being on the screen. On the screen. Very weird games coming out so far. Number one skills, not much he can do in this one. Against <laughs> driving against the building. Well, Legend only needs to effectively put guys in a cap, but they can also run him down like this. Works as well. So we have an equalizer. Score 2-2 two, two now, and one of the weirdest rounds I've ever seen on Hemmelsdorf. Legend pushing down that zero line, pushing down the AB line, and ending up with a full one-two line control. Uh, definitely. So let's repeat, no tactics involved, just the read of the map, and they're here, they're not there, let's push. Where we were praising Rich Grid before for their fast rotations, very slow now, a lot they, of time still they, in the D-line. They were completely playing chaotic, trying to plug holes with their fingers, and uh, in that process uh, they were just separating each other, just playing the hand of Legend, literally. Look at some of the highlights here from last round, as we can see. So this is where Mi'kmaq got caught out together with Grem. Not much to be done. Pure skill does pick up Antic here. Antic, very questionable performances. Honor making up for the mistakes and picking him up. Antic so far, not impressed. Uh, let's stop betting him to the ground. I think he is feeling bad on his own by now. <laughs> but Legend, moving into the next map here, Cliff. I'm not sure who I have to favor here. I would favor Rage Quit because they seem to be the better pushers. But honestly, Legend was known in Silver as being really aggressive team. So I don't know. Maybe we'll finally see some of that here. Because Cliff, you cannot play that slow. But if they do with some outdated setup again, they're going to get stomped. Let's take a look at the stats here for that last round. And you can see here against Zet. We said it before. If anybody has to carry this team towards victory, it's going to have to be him. Second round in the road. 3.7k damage now. Yeah, really good play by him. Map awareness, self-awareness, and he's always going ahead of his team, spotting for them, leading them. So pretty good performance so far, and uh, I wish just that more of his guys are actually following his example. 
Ali and that FP21FB also doing a decent amount of damage, but for the rest there, damage fairly even spread, and you can see the real issue here for Rage Quit, Grem, Halu, Micmac, and then <laughs> Ipurash. Hey, Ipurash. <laughs> he didn't even pen that one shot. But Micmac in 50B, getting caught like that, doing only one shot of damage, that's catastrophe. Like, really catastrophe. Also, Gremek, uh, I mean, two of them were alone on that corner. What, what, were, what were they thinking, even? He should have crossed, instead of running all the way down, he should have crossed the first gap in the two line, yeah, go turn to your left, guys. and go run to your into guys. the D line, get into a, one of the windows, and he would have survived at that point. Decided to go all the way down the two line, which. Getting shot in the back all the time. Not really the brightest of them ideas. Moving into Cliff, though. Haven't seen either of these teams yet so far on Cliff, so a little bit of guessing what they're going to bring out. If Rich Quit follows their standard, there's going to be a fast lineup for them, I think. Something along the lines of five batch shots, two turn batch shots, perhaps a TVP in there, but maybe you'll see seven batch shots finally. Seven batch shots. I'm hoping for that. Let's take a look at the lineups and see if it is going to be seven batch shots. And yes, it is seven batch shots. Yes! And Legend bringing out the E50M. E50M is weak, confirmed. I kind of saw this lineup, but half an year ago or more. Uh -huh, not really. What is Legend planning with this? Rich Quit's lineup, I approve. Legend's lineup, STB, TVPs. Mojo, let's see what they going to bring for us, Legend, with a weird lineup. Moving into Cliff, though, let's see what we get. Cliff, the most dynamic map in the league. Battles on Cliff always turn into desperate double-edged fights. Teams start from the same spots as they do in standard battles. The first base is located near the defender's spawn point, and the second is at the bottom of the hill. Sometimes teams split their forces and send several tanks through the 1-2 line to the left of the small hill, but usually both teams play at the center. The attacking team can send one of the tanks up to the lighthouse or behind it. Fast and quick-firing vehicles are better suited for this map, mainly medium tanks, including tanks equipped with auto loaders. As you can see here, Legend on the defensive side, already sending Ali, Dima, there's TVPs towards the 1-2 line, probably going to try and do some early damage here, but only number one skills going there, so not sure if those three guys, number one skills does get spotted here, spot skills still in return in that TVP. There's a really lot of guys from Legend on the lower quarter, are they expecting these guys to actually push them there? Not sure what Legend is expecting, but Seba here and Cactus not going straight over Seba, taking some damage in return, but Zed already taking a lot of damage. Minus 800 points of health for him, but Seba trading those in return will have hill control. Even taking even more damage now, down to 700. Well, Start Zed from Legend, really weird. Zed really made him pay for that climb, so that was good from him. But still, uh, they have so many slow tanks that now Bachat can control the battlefield easily. But they take control over the hill here and Rich quit repositioning. Halu going around. Good repositioning. Yes, Seba is low, but he has a very crucial position here on the hill. Ipurash, once that C7 position gets taken, might be able to land some shells in the back. As Halu, watch here. This is a new climb. Watch how Halu does it. Drives up there and then climbs the hill. Stick with Halu for now as he fails it. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, dear Halu. But dear Halu. Still, Yepuraj can be in problem from various spots because no one is actually controlling the ABC line. Haluch can just go there and start shooting him in the back, but it appears he wants to go back again. Back Seems to the Seems like Halu wants to try again. Second try here. Drives up into the bush and he... <laughs> and <laughs> and he a little bit of anger. In little anger. <laughs> okay, so... Kirsten Hill. Okay, let me explain what the goal is here for Halu, right? He drives up like he does. Then he gets some into the bushes, turns around and pushes. But Zed here wants to pick up Seba, wants to force him down. Now, complete hill control. Halu coming in the third time, trying it but failing. Oh, Rage Kid, what are you doing? At least Pure Skills is uh, already on the other side, so we have some kind of uh, cross shots. And they Grem really cannot it. kill Seba because if they lean down to shoot him, they're going to get paid for it. It looks like Grem actually did make it instead of Halu here. So a lot of mountaineering going on, a lot of failed mountaineering. Here, boy. This is how you do it. <laughs> Actually, never mind. All three of them failed it so far. Oh, boys. So, as I was saying, now... We were, we were saying okay. that... Last, last try. Last try. So, 
Gram. Is he going to do it? Yes, he lines it up here. He needs to get into those bushes with the trees here. And he made it. Now he turns his full tank around towards the side. Yeah, Purash is on low HP, getting shot from pure skill from another side. But Gramek will finally be able to press them. Because can he can go yeah. around the you hill, guys, here. now. And he can climb up. You wiggle here, you get up now. He goes up a little bit more, then turns towards the left. You can also do it from the right, but the left is the harder side. And Cactus, the climber. Why didn't they send him in a start? Like, um, we see that, sure. that guy actually knows to do it all the time. Now, Graham will get up the hill. You can see here, both of them getting up that hill part. From this point on, it's very easy. You just keep driving along and get up. And they could catch Zed and Iporash, but Legend now, all of them driving towards the hill as well. It's going to be a mountain fight. Really uh, it's really a popular sightseeing place, it seems. Oh, Iparaj goes down here in the return, and Antic has to be careful in the STB. Going a little bit too far forward, then just see how many guys are on that mountain for now. You know what's interesting? For all this time that this is going on, Legend actually did not realize it. And they did not counter-attack or try to use this situation, because they have more or less no control. They were busy with one guy, pure skill, who was killing the Iparaj. Yeah, Antic is completely stuck in this one. Nowhere he can go. Takes another shell here. Has to hug that rock as his life depends on it. The rock is his life at this point. Well, let's see how are our mountain ninjas doing. Are they any closer to climbing up? Seba here still. Cactus now did take the hill, so finally hill control in favor of Rage Quit. Sending enough bad shots on that climb. We how kind of guys mentioned <laughs> more than once that this season might be literally decided. Halu made it! He made it! <laughs> Halu made it up onto the hill. It can be decided <laughs> by people's ability to actually perform all these climbs from the first, not second, third or fourth, from the first, because that's how you don't waste time and you can coordinate with your team. It really requires hours of practice per climb. It's not an easy job. It's not something you can just do, but if you're playing a pro, pro league, you should be able to do it. Still not having seen that E50M come to full effect here, though. As yes, it has great accuracy, but it needs to be able to get those shells here. What is Rage Kid's final plan? Yes, they control the hits. That taking even more damage here. But what is the final plan? Number one skills. If he spots Ali and Uris is in position, it would be pretty bad. Is that taking even more damage here now? Down to 78. Most important player for Legend at this point as he goes down, but actually they kill each other. Pure skill kills Zed and the other way around. Number one skills, oh, getting wrecked completely in the tier 9 batcha. But, but Antic, Antic also return. getting wrecked in return, but that's nothing new for this uh, guy. Ooh. So Gremic is actually in position to push around and just replace pure skill from that side. Seba here trying to get the final shot onto Antic, not managing to land it so far. What's number one skills doing exactly? Try to proxy Ali there, okay? There Halu, Halu does pick up Antic and now it's starting to look a little bit bad for Legend as... Interesting part is that Legend actually has no response to this. They're just sitting there and waiting for something to happen. Well, not really much they can do with an E50M. You know, can't really push with it. He needs to ram one of the bats that's where he's going to get clipped. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. But they might even try a bit of rotation or something, but it seems like Urvis and Skills will just catch Alien Shul, and when they do that, they will have entire Legend team between themselves, and it will be game over. Cactus misses the first shot here. He'll still managing, landing to first, landing the second, landing the third even. Some pretty bad peaks coming out from Rage Quit, only landing one shot and two kill steal for now. And Urvi is the number one skills. Ali could actually be in it. No, just get spotted. Ali gets instantly spotted, so not much to be done for him here. Urvi is taking some damage, but they should be able to kill Ali 2v1. It's a bit painful to watch some of this stuff. Ooh, Urvi picks up Ali, so as we said now, not much to be done for Legend here. They're trying to drive up the hill, but those Batshas making short work of those TVPs. Only four shells, not being able to kill any of them. Now even getting shot in the back as well, and Homer in that E50M. Nothing to be done here, as it is going to be Rage Quit probably picking up the round here. E50M confirmed weak Mojo, as it didn't work out. Uh, but shot fail, Rem. <laughs> <laughs> and that's going to be it. Rich Quit picks up the third round here. And again, very weird round to start off. E50M, double DVP, STB. Uh, would this even work against anyone? I don't know. But uh, also, would Rage Quit play work against anyone else? Not sure about that, too. Like, uh, they gave so much time to Legend to regroup, to do something. Legend can't really push with their lineup, so it's not a. It's better than the sitting where they were. They were like sitting ducks without cover. And they even didn't see the rotation coming. When they came for Ashul to chase him, 
Did even in seed. Hey, my favorite moment of that round is still Halu failing twice and then shooting the ground. Like, why didn't they have at least one guy down on K line so he would get another angle to shoot them up on a hill? They already noticed how many people is there. And they would be able to cover him from the center. They would be able to cover him. That guy would be pretty much safe. Some lineup mistakes from Legend coming out. That TVP is STB. Antic. I mean, I don't want to criticize him too much, but again, pushed up in that STB from that A5 position, pushed up, had to stand behind a rock for the entire match, and really co and couldn't contribute to anything. Slowly. And uh, on the other hand, again, they line up something like outdated fashion. STB 50M not really working out for Cliff here. Let's take a look and see exactly how much those two managed to do as top of the scoreboard. Number one skills in that tier 9 bat shot, and then kill steal in that TVP. Honor and the E50, I'm actually doing 1.8 more than I expected. Uh, pretty much. Well, a lot of it is ramming damage from the Batcha that jumped on him. Yes, but uh, a lot of this damage is just honestly meaningless because it was not focused in any moment. It's just random shooting. We saw kill still, he did full clip point blank now, but it was already when game was over. We can see there Antic and Dima, TVP, STB. Yep, Urash. Urash. Um, Getting caught there on a hill, not really cool play. I would say Z was the only one that, again, played really well. Really talented guy, but too much. Z not being able to carry his team towards victory there as Rage Quit now picks up the round. And we've seen everything so far. What, are we, what is Legend going to bring in the next round on Cliff? I wouldn't be surprised even if I saw some heavies by now, but I'm really interested more what will Rage Quit bring. Will they follow the current meta? Staying with the fast tanks, or will they succumb to some weak plan or whatever? Let's take a look at the lineups and see if Rich Quit does decide to stick with that fast meta. As we can see here, that Rich Quit sticking with that meta. Grilla, nice, Grilla common taking. Pick. We've seen it used in uh, previous matches on Cliff. He can be on, but again, E50M from Legend. Again, at E50M and two TVPs. Is Honor playing it? I think he yes. really likes the tank. I guess that's that's why. I can see no other reason. But not much rotation from them. TVPs in attack. They're more support tanks. I don't know how they really TV plan to TVPs use TVPs is better used in a position where he can do four shells and drop off. For example, teams put them in the one-two line, do one, two shells and drop off. But let's get it underway here. Our sixth round between these two. Rich quit currently up 3-2. Can they make a match point, Mojo? Uh, definitely, I think, with this. It will be really hard for Legend to crack them. As you were saying about those TVPs, they work best in positions where they can do four shells and then back off. And take a look here at number one skills as he is going for one of the climbs as well on A1. As you can see here, needs to wiggle it a little bit to keep the traction, does it well. Let's give them a kind of and overlook look at position. Cactus and Halo. Cactus and Halo. Halo is, I think, climbing up on A5 on his tank destroyer. That will be really interesting also to see because if he manages, he will have entire view of the battlefield from upper positions. We can see here Cactus and Hollow climbing at the same time, so a lot of climbs coming off from Ragequin in the beginning, and a fairly standard standard start for Legend. Three guys into the 1-2 line, four four guys in towards the middle area. Iporash here taking the hill. Again, Cactus and Hollow Hollow going to have some great shots onto them, though. Well, we see them on minimap at least, and there you go. Position for uh, Grille is perfectly set up, and uh, Cactus is right below him. So. Rage could giving the hill intentionally because they actually want someone to peek and take the big shot. Blind shot coming out from Halu there. If Iporash gets spotted, that Gorilla actually has an angle towards the top of the turret here. You can see it's a close shot, but also number one skills. If you were wondering why he's in B1, for example, if Legend does decide to drive with one, two guys through the one, two line, number one skills is going to be able to put all of his six shells most likely into their side, giving them a nice advantage. Something a lot of teams don't expect here. Pure skills pulling the angle, so Ragequit now going for a more tactical approach. Ragequit is definitely doing their job here, and I like uh, how they set up their defense. It's quite decent, and uh, wherever they're pushed, there is a multiple focus fire. Now it's only up to Legend. Will they actually realize, is there any weakness there? See here, Cactus also has an angle. Legend, what are they going to do? Because those TVPs and E50M, not great for pushing at all. E TVPs, two of them need to... Only two, you need two TVPs to kill one of those tier 10s and that E50M is going to get shredded as soon as it shows its side armor anywhere. If they try to go lower side village, there is a great crossfire from Ragequid. Over the middle, even worse. 
Uh, the only way they could go and try something is really fast reaction around the big lighthouse and then try to do their some kind of crossfire on these guys because if they peek above from the lighthouse and the grille is not spotted, they're gonna get annihilated. But at the moment they're just playing defensive. Not much rage grid has to do in this one as they are on the defensive side. It's all going to be on legend to make the moves here. And their final play, not hundred percent sure what's it going to be. Yes, they could push around the mountain, but Seba waiting in those bushes as well, and Grem just spotting it. And Cactus and Halu, not forgetting, going to get shells on them. It's, but it's the same thing for the one two line. Just that lineup from Legend in general. As soon as Ipuraj gets spotted here, I expect him to disappear. Uh, well, he will get shot at least once and get on a one shot, but he is some kind of rotation coming in now from Zed and Elin Shul. So he's as usual, leading his team forward, going in first. I don't know how good is that always, because once you lose a shooter like that, you can get in rear, pro rear pro problems. Yeah, it looks like Zed and Ali here starting to push that nine line, but a lot of tanks waiting there for Rage with Grem in a spotting position. We'll see them coming, and Halu, see the angle he has from there. As soon as they pick up a little bit too far, we'll land shells in and Grem in the bushes. As soon as Zed and Ali pick up, they're going to be in a lot of trouble. Important thing is for Halu not to get spotted now, because if Zet and Elin should actually spot him, he can get shot from various angles, and he has no armor whatsoever. So far, the only guy spotted are Zed and Elin Shul, and they are doing some damage to the guys on the hills. Yeah, pure skills position though. Urwi is in that TVP, taking a little bit more there even from that E50M, has to be careful, but pure, as long as he wiggles, he'll be okay here. That tier 9 bad shot, lower profile than the tier 10, so much harder to hit as well. Interesting play here would be from Rage with actually to push onto the, those two guys because there is not much protecting them. They could just literally go there in that ditch and destroy them because there is only Rue and Honor that could actually do some something about it. Five minutes and 30 seconds left here as Legend. Yes, they pushed down the nine line. Got a little bit of HP he adv advantage here, but... Ipurash, I'm always worried when I see him peek like this. Yes, he's doing a blind shot, he's trying to pinpoint where Halu is, but at the moment, no go. Is that an Ali though? There's not much they can do in this one. A tier 9 bad shot is... Even a tier 10 bad shot is hard to hit, and the tier 9 being even lower, good luck. Hey, he looks quite a lot of like 390, just a little bigger one. So we're gonna have to see Legend. What is their final play here going to be? I mean... At Still still an antique now, pushing up from that side as well, trying to get some angles. Grem landing a nice shot onto Zed. But still, it's not for now, Legend, not making any decisive plays. Nothing that's going to win the round. I feel at one point they're going to push down the 1-2 line, and number one skills, it's going to be pretty annoying over there. Not only him, mate, like you have also Cactus there to do the crossfire, Urvis, Agrile. Like, if they push 1-2 line, they will be dead. Seemed like Antic was going there for a second, but do the sides otherwise. Oh, Ipurash. I'm so worried for him, really, I am. That gorilla could wreck him so hard, but rotation now coming in from Zed and Ali, and it does seem like either is going to be a very heavy middle play, which would be pretty suicidal, or it's going to be a one two line play, which doesn't look any better at this point. The only thing that can happen here is Witch Grid not being able to land their shells and Legend getting the advantage that way if Halu misses, for example, but otherwise, not looking too good. Well, there is finally some rotation coming, and it's again from Zet and Alishul. So they abandoned the one side of the battlefield. They are going all around the map, so no one else is doing it. And uh, the only question is, will they actually try to push from the top, or will they actually fall for the play of Rage Quit? Because Rage Quit is really patiently waiting down there. Most of Legends tank now in that one two line, and still number one skills waiting here. It's gonna be a big brawl if they go down. Antic and Ali seem to be the two guys moving down that one-two line. Urvi should have shells, Cactus should have shells, Halu should have shells. So just gonna have to see how much number one skills is able to do in this one. Doesn't look like he wants to spot them early, so... Gonna be a little bit of a surprise here for Legend. Yeah, I don't think they're expecting him here, but uh, there you go. He's spotted now and he did not see them yet. Spots those bad shots in return now. Can gun even lift the gun? The pressure is an issue here for both of them. Gets shot a little bit in the side, but still has to be careful getting hit from the side. Why is he driving forward? He's only getting shot from behind. And in the return, Antic taking a lot of damage, and so does Kill still. So still advantage with Rage Grid for now, but why did he drive forward? 
I really don't know. But uh, finally, Legend made some play and it actually worked here. And there was no real connection by the rest of his team. So at the moment, it looks like they're trying to take over the, the hill. Yeah, Grim in that bad shot seems to be wanting to climb the hill as he's now moving up. Halu got spotted to in that griller pretty bad. He has to be careful. He needs to get out of there. HE damage from Ipuraj, oh, actually. It's really annoying. Oh, Halu got spotted there. Ipuraj missing the shadow and Grim. Almost up that hill, Ali does push into the cap now. Cactus finds something. Ooh, but Hollow in return, finding Hollow and Urwis is the next guy here. Grem really needs to take out this RU251. Yeah, but he's not even shooting at him. Both DVPs here on reload, but look at the time as well. 1 minute and 55 seconds. Dima does pick up Urwis and it's starting to look good for Legend here. Ipurash will go down most likely here against Grem. Not much to be done about him. Nice tracking shot from Ipurash, but Seba now getting pushed on as well. And Hollow in at E50M actually working out for now. Let us see, will Yeporash actually get caught? Yeah, he's driving backwards, so there is no way to survive the bad shot. And there is no real coverage by the rest of his team, but the HP is still a little in legend favor, and they still have a gun more. It's so important at this point for Rich Quit to draw them out as far as they can. Cactus needs to survive, and pure skill as well, and Grem taking over that hill control could be very crucial. Hard. Let's not forget the timer, because legend actually now cannot chase them. They must pressure the cap. With 1 minute and 10 seconds left on the cap, they can cap with two guys for now and still make it, but still, Graham and Cactus have a lot of HP. Pure Skill can play it a little bit more safe here. Should still be in control for Rage Quit at this point and should be able to catch Honor in at E50M. Very low HP, one shell will do it and now even Zed holding them off, but not sure if it's going to be enough for Legend in this one. 50 seconds left on the clock here. Honor instantly gets picked up by Cactus, and now the final play coming out from Legend. Zed is the one to hold the line here, but Graham already landing some shells onto him. Takes another one. He's going to go down here. Nice to drop off, but Cactus actually with the drive-by shooting. 28 seconds left on the cap, and Dima and Alu, not much they can do here. They have to stay on the cap. Yes, they can hit Cactus. They hit him, but Cactus hitting the shell on the move. Dima gets reset it. Don't and even Rich forget that the guys control. from the hill can actually rest the cap also because they are in a draw range and they can fire those shots. So, lost game again for Legend. Planning the last second actions. I think uh, the push on one-two line actually worked out well for them, but then again, it was too late, too much time has passed, and some HP was lost in the process. Krem doing the climb, taking the hill there, very crucial for Rage Quit. That's with one second left on the clock. Rage Quit will be moving on to match point here against Legend, bringing the scoreline to 4-2-2 to two in favor of them. And Mojo, that one-two line push working out better than I expected. P P number one skills, I think it was. It was probably his own fault, honestly. Driving forward, they're getting shot from that three line from up on the three not, line. He did not provide any kind of spot, so they came uh, pretty much unchecked. He did not have cover on time by his own team because of that, because they were already safe behind the rock. So he died alone. The good thing is Rechkui didn't panic. They already uh, started moving away. Halo paid the price for his uh, misfortune because then he was spotted and shot all around, but they gained control of the hill because as... Uh, this is the moment I don't understand. They have a push on the top of the hill, that's fine. Why didn't they keep at least one Bacha there? At least one Bacha to control the map. Like, one light tank is not enough for that. You can see here the highlights of that last round. Ipurash here, as soon as he lost the hill, that put Rage Quit back into the advantage as Graham having control of that hill provided them with so many options. And then Cactus here, drive-by shooting. <laughs> Let's, shell, let's have a different kind of uh, scenario here. What would happen if Legend actually left one Bacha there and had a Ru and Bacha top? How would even uh, Rage Quit then survive? Questions I, I really here. don't see it. I mean, they needed all their Bachas to push though as well. They just pushed the two. They just pushed the two down and the rest were sniping. They definitely had one guy to use for that. Let's take a look at statistics here though and see exactly who from Rage Quit Cactus in that bad shot, and then Grem, not a surprise, both of them staying alive very long. Honor in that A50, I'm actually doing 2.6k damage. Yeah, pretty much good sniping position from him, decent shots, but uh, Cactus and Gremek are constantly doing well in Rage Quit teams, so I would say they're the guys to watch for. Cactus and Gremek here, crucial plays, pure skill, staying alive for a long time as well. Rest of the damage, first worst round from Zed, only coming in position 5, but not much to note here as most of the damage is very even spread. I'm very happy Pure Skill did so well. Some points there for me. 
Do you actually have anybody in this match? Uh, I am actually not sure, but I'm thinking about buying cactus. <laughs> <laughs> You can see here, Ant I don't want to criticize Antic. I really don't want to criticize him. But every single round, when we go to damage, he is number 14. Or they it's him or Ibrash. about 12 people in the team. So, I mean, he's an old player in that team. But I guess they should think about putting someone else at the moment. But it seemed like a trend so far. Not wanting to criticize Antic. But every round, it's either him or Ipurash all the way down. Yeah, but Ipurash is playing uh, small tanks, but still, we've seen people play small tanks and carry some rounds, carry hard even. So now, what does Legend do moving into our next map here? It doesn't look good for them at all. Morovanka. Morovanka, and, and we've seen how they played it last time. If they stay with the same tank picks, it's pretty much over for them. They played really slow against Kazna, and it was an old kind of pick with Object 140s and some attempts of cap. Now, they will be attacking again, and uh, if they didn't change the strat from the scratch, it's not going to be good for them. Strat yesterday used by Legend wasn't the greatest against Kazna crew. Kazna cleaning that up fairly easily. So we'll have to see if they manage to adapt. A lot of single shooters in that lineup. I think they brought like three 140s, which really yes, didn't work out for them. They were trying to trigger the cap all the time, and Kazna just took them out pretty much standard. Nothing, nothing big there. Uh, they could have taken a lot of lessons after their match and uh, just changed something for today because today's match is really important for them. But even then, if they managed to pick up the last run, remember what they did on the defensive side? They left a the complete eastern side open, yes, even a light in the bushes. completely open, but at the moment they're attacking. Let's take a look at those lineups here as Legend now on the offensive side of Morovanka. Score 4-2 in favor <laughs> of Richmond in the same lineup that we were just criticizing from Legend. Those three 140s which we saw were not working out yesterday, being back today. On the other hand, much more flexible lineup by Rage Queen. They have Ice 4 to use as a cooldown tank. 30 uh, 90 for the bushes, Ice 4 to soak the damage. Fairly standard, good lineup. Pretty decent lineup from them. Maybe I would like E5 more than uh, that Ice 4, honestly. But the more rest HP. on the spot, yes. So the IS-4 being used there for more HP. Let's see if Ragequid can manage to close out this round or Legend managed to improve since yesterday. Let's find out as we move into Morovanka. Morovanka, a map with a great number of buildings, bushes and trees, amongst which teams hide for most of the battle. The attacking team begins the battle from the top of the village and the defenders start from the bottom of the map. Both bases are better controlled from the hill near the first base and from the green in the lower left corner of the map. There are many attack directions. The attacking team often attempts to gain the attention of defenders by putting pressure on the first base, whilst manoeuvring several tanks behind the second base to deliver fire into the defending's flank. Team setups are very diverse but the players often choose the fastest tanks, even for heavy setups. They could even bring SPGs. You see here, pure skill, going actually for a pretty aggressive bush to start off with, an Iporash and an RU251. And it seems like it's going to be exactly the same strategy Legend decided to bring yesterday. Pure skill already getting spotted though, so needs to reposition, takes one shell there from Killsteel. Not sure why they want to put the EMX 3090 so aggressive, not uh, working out. Putting the 3090 aggressive down is really fine because you put several Ooh, snipers Ipurash. behind, but... Ipurash Ow. again being cut out and goes down already. That RU251 being picked up by Halu and again Ipurash the Come first on, one what's, down. What's with driving skills? This is a big map. You have a lot of defilades and bushes you can use. You can't die like this. And also pure skill getting spotting on the other side. I mean, I know he spotted the Rue, but he could have gotten there without getting spotted, sit in a bush and even maybe bait some tier 10 to die. Worked out for now though, as Iporash is the first one to fall, that RU251, very crucial parts of every every strategy, as he is usually the one to trigger the cap, and now we we'll to have to see what Legend bring against this as now. Losing Interesting the RU is the position of Gremek, in IS4 he actually went over the STB usual position on one line, and he's now in a building, I think, angling if someone actually enters the cap. Yeah, D-mine that 140, taking a little bit of damage here and not looking good for Legend. Who are they going to send to clear up your skill? Who is going to pretty much sacrifice themselves to spot that 3090? Uh, whoever they send, it will not really be a nice projection. They can even do exactly what they're doing now. Leave pure skill and push the other side and clear it. And if they catch Honor now and ensure it will be pretty much GG immediately. Well, they obviously also watched the broadcast from yesterday, and they realized that Legend is bringing the same shot. 
Cactus and Seba here have to be careful. Ali managed to land in two shells. shells. Three shells out of four, but is on reload now. Are they going to go for Honor or they're going to back off now? No, the only thing is mind game. Do they think is there many tanks there or some tanks? Obviously, they don't know. So they made the choice to run away instead of risk. So the Legend mind game actually paid off. Cactus here taking a lot of damage, losing his commander as well. So he's going to have to go stay closer to that red line. But definitely, when you want to push something like that, you should use more of the people. But they are scared a bit, so, in the, so the cap doesn't get pressured too much. So they don't sell out the positions. That's why they're rotating like this. In old times, when you would play Murovanka, it was purely a counter push strat. If you see too many tanks from the attacker commit on one side, you would just use all fast tanks you have and push on another, clear it, and uh, kill if there is one or two tanks trying to do a crossfire and pretty win the game like that. Slowly but surely, this position pretty locked down by Gremic though in that IS-4. We'll be able to get resets and Legend doesn't really have anybody they can put on the Cactus They don't circle. even know that Gremic is there, but Cactus here is a dead commander that's kind of not good for them. He is really the great player for them and uh, that budget is really important in the future part of the game. They did spot Gremic in that IS-4 now though, so but question is, even if they put anybody on cap, should be able to reset that now. Legend pushing up towards that one base. I'm gonna have to see what their final play is now. He'll still peeking over in that 140, trying to land the shell on Kramik perhaps, but this is not the right approach for Legend, I think, as that IS-4 will shred them to pieces if he can. Now those 140s are making some nice peaks when not really getting punished so far. Dima taking one shell here, but trading against that IS-4, not the greatest idea for Legend as now Killsteel has to use his repair kit as well. Yes, they can peek on the ice for. Yes, they can do damage, but they're trading so much in return, and HP will slowly but surely go in favor of Rage Quit. Definitely, Rage Quit in better positions now. But we already stated that they're more ready for this match. Honor is paying the price already. There is no big cover there, guys. Like he's definitely clinging on a thread. And Seba picks up Honor there, so Honor getting caught out in the open of the field. Misplay from him, and it looks all but over for Legend as now. Number one skills actually in return, also taking a lot of damage. Seba might be able, does pick up Dimar here. So the second kill for Seba here. Crucial plays in that bad shot, and Legend now only four guys alive against seven of Rage Quit. Even pure skills now starting to move to get into the fight. And Mojo, Legend, not looking good. Legend is pretty much done for, I would say. The HP advantage is huge, positions are even worse. The HQ completely has the map under control and they're not risking anything. Look, they're sending pure skills down so he can rest it if it's really needed. With only four guys left for Legend, not looking good. Yes, they have a lot of time. Even pure skills here, trying to get in the action, trying to land some shells onto Zed. And now uh, what is Legend going to do as HQ is still on the defensive side, so in reality, don't have to make a move, but it seems like they want to close out this round. Seba picking up another kill here, taking down Zed. And now three players from Legend against seven from Rage Quit and even pure skill from behind. Not looking good at all for Legend. Urwis does get picked up here, but the final push comes in from Rage Quit. Killsfield goes down, Anti goes down. It's left all on Alu as it Ali, as it does look like Rage Quit. Gonna pick up their second three points here, Mojo. And Five we have our uh, first team now at the moment with six points, a leader on the scoreboard. It is Rage Quit, believe it or not. Rage Quit currently sitting on number one after picking up three more points. Congratulations to them. Fairly decisive plays here, Ipurash. Antic. Antic. 